Celebrating women leading from generation to generation, Yvette and Una Clark's annual birthday celebration at Kai Lounge in Brooklyn. We chat with Powers actress Don Shea Hopkins at her photo shoot with Solar Child magazine. I'm completely like fine with it now. Of course it is heartbreaking because for one, no one wants to like lose their job and that was like my favorite, one of my favorites and I loved playing Raina. This week we had a little uh, salmon and we have a salmon already marinated in uh, some Guinness. This week's edition of Look Inna Dicky Kitchen with Look Celebrity Chef Patrick Sims features Look. American R&B singer, songwriter and actress Fantasia. She rose to fame as the winner of the third season of American Idol. Craig T of TOK is launching his solo career. I have Bill a buzz for build the platform to really release the album the right way. Sure. So that's what I'm doing now. Like like my main focus is to is to grow the fan base as much as possible before the album release. You're watching Come Chat with me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine, and I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. Your greetings. You're watching Come Chat with me. And tonight we're coming in from the Kai Lounge in Brooklyn. And tonight is the birthday celebration for Dr. Una Clark. All right? So keep it locked right here on Come Chat With Me. Celebrating the great women who have honorably served New York's 9th Congressional District. Yvette and Una Clark's annual birthday celebration was held at the Kai Lounge in Brooklyn. The annual cheers were Mayor Bill de Blasio and the First Lady, Sherlyn McRae. Legendary Dougie Fresh made a guest appearance. Yuna's events are always fantastic, you know, and tonight is no different. You know, it's a very good turnout, um, very sophisticated turnout, um, and everybody's having a fantastic time. The Clarks have brought a lot of pride to the Jamaican community, the Haitian community and all the Caribbean communities who felt, you know, a little bit not involved in government. And it was Una Clark that came in as a councilwoman with a big charge, followed by the Congresswoman Yvette Clark, that came in and taught us all about passion and politics, how we have to fight for freedom, how we have to fight for our communities, and to do it with love, hope, and a good message. Tell me how you like it. You are 8 to 3 now, right? Is that right? I am 8 to 3 at midnight. At midnight, you don't look it really. I, I think I have a couple of hours to go, so, so let it come slowly yes. and soak in. And then I can say to all you young people, I've seen it all. Yes. Don't even tell me what it is. Yes. I was there, did it then, and it's coming around again. But my proudest moment was today when I heard yes. that Flynn flipped. So soon enough, number 45 will have to give an account of himself. And for us who are Democrats who live in Brooklyn and who want to make sure that immigration reform takes place, that our dreamers are able to get their green card, and especially the Haitian Americans who came after the earthquake can remain in the United States of America, we have to be on the vanguard of our people. And I'm really um, proud and honored that the Congresswoman understands immigration and immigration policy, that she's the daughter of an immigrant, and my husband and I don't let her ever forget from whence she came and to whom she belongs. has been very uh, instrumental with uh, everything that I've done from Fashion Cafe, uh, assistance with Bikini Under the Bridge, actually anything that we need we could call uh, Dr. Clark and she's there, also Yvette. It is an honor and a privilege to be here to celebrate the birthdays of Mama Clark and our sister Congresswoman Yvette Clark. I have the pleasure of standing next to our mayor. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great because I just came from a great party. Yes. Dr. Una Clark and Congresswoman Yvette Clark, they yes. both have a birthday now. Yes, they do. Okay, I'm from the Caribbean, right? And sure. our program 
is also Caribbean based. Yes, sir. One message to our Caribbean people who are living in New York, what can they expect for next year from the mayor? Well, I'm going to say this. First of all, the Caribbean community in the city should be very, very proud of the leadership provided by Una Clark and Yvette Clark, who are two of my closest allies in everything I do. And I say next year in this city, we're going to make it a fairer city for all. We're going to keep doing a lot more to give our kids early childhood education, to improve affordable housing, to make the city safer and fairer at the same time. So that's what we're going to be about in this city. We're also going to fight everything that's going on in Washington that's about taking away people's rights, disrespecting immigrants. We're going to fight it every step of the way. New York City, we know who we are, and we're proud to be who we are. We're proud to be a progressive, inclusive city. We're celebrating that tonight, too. For the Congresswoman. What is that one thing that your mom, Dr. Una Clark, has taught you that we stand, we stand with you for the rest of your life? Oh my goodness. She's, my mother teaches me every day. Uh, and she's taught me a lot of things. Most of them are for the love of family. First of all, the love of God. And putting God first in your life. The second thing is the love of family. And always remembering from whence you've come. The, the, my parents are immigrants to the U.S. from Jamaica, and we attribute a lot of our success to the grounding that they received in Jamaica and bringing those values with them here to the U.S. Put your hand up in the air. Say, I. Fresh, my brother, what good on? Everything is good, my brother. Honor to be here. Big respect to everybody in Jamaica that's watching it yes. or any island people. Love and respect. A real thing, man. All right, tonight I step out yeah. for a special occasion to come and party with you. I must say, lovely lady. You know what I mean? Congresswoman Yvette Clark and Dr. Yuna Clark. Tell us a little bit about man. The respect and the love you have for them. Yo, let me tell you. When I got the call, it was an honor to come here to represent for both of them. And it's been a long time relationship, but I know what she brings to the community and brings to the world, you know? Her presence, you can feel it in the room. I was standing up here, everybody want to take a picture with the comedy. How you doing? This is Mr. Don, the creator of the NYC Shootathon, photographer, celebrity photographer. Today we're doing a shoot for Solo Child magazine, and we are blessed today with one of the, the young celebrities of our era uh, who works um, for the, the, the new hit show called Power. Her name is Don Shea. We'll be doing an interview and a photo shoot with her, with her today. We'll, she'll be wearing some couture clothing. We do some headshots, we do some urban wear, um, and the shoot is gonna be featured in, and again, like I say, Solo Child Magazine. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a doozy. Um, Solo Child Magazine is about new upcoming models that's from the ages three to 17 years old. I try to give models the exposure, children models. You know, it's hard for them in the business. Parents try to take them to agencies. They try to get them in fashion shows and it's very hard for them to get in. So I want to create a platform to help parents and children 
you know, motivate, to help parents motivate their children's careers. I like to create a platform to give them exposure, to give them media, to make them look fabulous, to make them look like divas and dawns. Well, I started acting when I was four years old. Four, wow. So I know that a lot of your roles are very adult kind of shows. How does that work? Like, do you have to ask your parents for permission? Like, do they have to give approval first or? Well, basically how it works is when you audition, you usually get a call back. And when you get a call back, um, if they book you for it, you're, you're booked for the job. So you can either like, if you're available, so it's with your schedule, you can, you can accept or decline because they have like their first pick, their second pick, their third pick. So right. if you don't accept, they have like other people waiting. So if you accept, they, um, you get to look over, like your parents get to look mm -hmm. over the contract. So my mom, she does everything like with my acting. Right. She looks over the contract, what I'll be doing. And she's like, as long as I'm comfortable with it, then she's fine. And all the characters, awesome. yeah, that I've played, I'd say they've been age appropriate, except for Monica. She's a little bit of a wild child. If you watch Orange is the New Black, Monica, yeah. I'm Black Cindy's daughter. How do you feel about getting killed off of power? I'm completely like fine with it now. Of course it is heartbreaking because for one, no one wants to like lose their job and that was like my favorite, one of my favorites and I loved playing Raina. And so like when I first heard when Courtney Kemp, the um, amazing creator and writer, of power when she told me I was so upset I was crying and I was like absolutely heartbroken but then like we talked over it and she was like no it's just like this reason we want to do things like this and um so it was like certain reasons of course like I can't discuss because it was a private conversation but a lot of people think that it was someone's fault it wasn't like anyone's fault it was just the writer's decision yeah, and she really wanted story. to shock the audience and kind of like just something that was totally gonna knock everyone off their seats. And I think we did that. Gonna paint the town with our amazing souls. Light up the dark night skies. And we'll act crazy. Singing loud and proud just enough. But it's an EP. An EP? Yeah, it's but we're working on the album. 3.2, what, what was the inspiration for the name? The inspiration for the name, a lot of people ask me this like a lot. It's actually my birthday. 3.2 is March 2nd. And so a lot of people tell me like, you're such a Pisces, you're such an indigo child. And I'm like, what does that mean? So I, like, I looked it up and I was like, oh wow, I guess I kind of like am an indigo child, I'm pretty creative. And then I made my own word out of it. And I was like, you know what, 3.2. And I was kind of inspired by Adele who does like her albums with the age she wrote them. And also Taylor Swift went 1989. So I was like, you know what, I'll do 3.2. 3.2, well, what it means. It means like being yourself, loving who you are, and just being like uniquely you. I guess you could say, you could say, hey, I'm just an like that. I was just kind of like going over my whole life, and um, I started talking at nine months old, which a lot of people don't know, but if they've seen my interviews, I talked about it a lot. And so I was born premature, so when I say, um, um, my life hasn't been normal since the day I was born. Right. It hasn't, so I was just kind of looking back at all of that, and that was like my inspiration for the song. And I wanted to show like other people, kids with disabilities or kids with skin conditions or kids that are going through certain things that people may think are weird, is weird. Um, I just wanted to show them like, you're totally normal and it's okay to be not like them. To be different. Right? To be different, because exactly. if everyone was the same, the world would be so boring. In the kitchen, you're there. All right. There, I'm out with my boy Ziggy Best, and I'm so with me. And listen, it's gonna be crazy. You know what I'm gonna miss this. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna change up the tune all the time. I'm gonna change up what I'm cook. So this week, yeah. what's your mind? What am I going to do? The man keep it locked. Which part would it? In the kitchen. kitchen. So keep it locked and watch what we're gonna do right now. In this week, we are doing a uh, salmon, and we have a salmon already marinated in uh, some Guinness. And Guinness is marinated tonight. Uh. So, I'm going to jerk my salmon, I'm going to jerk my salmon, I'm going to turn around, I'm going to serve it with a mango chutney, a mango chutney sauce. So, you want me to right now, I'm going to have a salmon, look at my salmon. Salmon nice, I'm marinated. They are marinated this inside our Guinness for about 24 hours from yesterday. So, that's why you come now and you see it and it well marinated. I'm gonna go with a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of obey, make him look real nice. Nice, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, nice. I'm gonna go with a little bit of my jerk seasoning. A little bit of jerk seasoning on him. 
I mean, I put this bad boy right on the grill. And when I put them on the grill, after I start grill up, then we have to start the sauce together. Look on that, look on that, look on that pretty. And you can just imagine, this is the done marinated already for the Guinness. Some Guinness marinated, they look real nice. So I'm gonna bring him over to my grill right now. And put it up on the grill, nice. Make it real nice and hot. Give him a little bit of blaze. I want that to look real good, nice. Give him some nice smoke flavor. I'm going to use the right now and get the sauce together. I'm going to chop me. I'm going to chop the sauce. I'm going to also use some of the beginners for me already have marinated already. Let go with the red pepper. So while it's on the cook, I'm going to put the sauce together. Some red pepper, some onion, some green pepper. Put them together. Some fresh garlic. Nice. Fresh garlic, put them together real nice and stay there. Nice, that's what I'm talking about. Put them inside an oven and let them cook a little bit more. Nice. And I'm gonna go right inside my oven, my charboil. Put my salmon in. Look at it, look at it. Look at the flavor sit on the side. Let's look at the flavor sit on the side. I'm gonna let that cook a little bit more and then when it come back out, I'm gonna put it together with my sauce over here. And we're gonna serve this with some jasmine rice and some spinach. And it's gonna look real good and real flavorful. So whatever you do, you definitely wanna stay tuned. Definitely wanna stay tuned for some roasted garlic in. You wanna stay tuned, and this is something you're definitely gonna love and you're gonna enjoy. So keep it locked and go, don't go anywhere when we come back, we're gonna put this bad boy together. Went out the window, we shook a star for a sign. She was the reason why. Oh, baby, when I see you, I see you. I love it, I love it, yeah. Look at this salmon, look how pretty that is. Look how pretty and tender that is, look at that. Like butter, that's what I'm talking about. Nice flavored, marinated Guinness. What you know about that? That is crazy. And now we're gonna go with our chutney sauce. Look at this, look at this, look how pretty that is. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. We cook totally different. Nice little piece of the garlic. And you know your boy always twist something up a little bit. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of my candid. My candid almond on it. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. You don't know nothing about that. That's what I'm talking about. This is how we do it. Right here, in at the kitchen. Listen guys, this is how we do it. Another episode of what with it. In at the kitchen. Don't get it twisted. Well, 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 gang, my good man, everything great man, happy and giving yeah. thanks for life, you know? It's a blessing good, man. man, respect man. New York City there, there. one yeah. more time again. Yeah, yeah, you know, there in New York, one more time again, for one real. more song, you don't know. For real, how long was the last time you are there? Wow, I think the last time I forward in New York was 2013, I think, that was two days that I was just popping. And... In and out, thing. Yeah, man, heal up my family and move again. See, I'm yeah. thing, man, so alright, then, <laughs> you don't know, at 2017 right now, True words. you're there again, I want the mission this time. Well, right now, no, I beat Pavement in a promotion with them right now. Um, I have really? two new singles where people in my love, so I, I just I make sure I send my touch every car and the earth, like me, I go everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like everywhere there's an audience, you know, at Creative yeah. will be singing. I have a song named No Space for the girl. No Space. The girl of love, yeah. The this girl girl is what I say, like when, when me and her dance on the floor, like, you know, no space between the two. Ah. You know? The school of career right now, yeah, I got your focus on right now, yeah. also. See? 
Yes, yeah, so, yeah, tell, <coughs> tell me a little no bit about that. No more people don't know, so it feels good. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, big up to TOK, you don't know. All anyway, the time, man. If, if you don't know, you know anybody who just know in Craig T, you, you need to know some of the history, like, of you know, a family of, of the group T that know yeah. that case. Of so you course, don't know, big up yeah. the man, them anyway, them there. Anyway, Maximum yeah. respect, anyway, uh, family that same of way. Of course, man. But yeah, man, so, but the solo journey has been yeah. awesome. Like, like it, 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 it feel good for you know, the music what I put out now is 100% me. In a bit. Sometimes I really, really 100%. Sometimes I me produce the track, yes. me write the song and me yeah. sing the, 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 the song. So it's, it's, it's about vibe, man. It's yeah. cool. It, it's fun. Like, yeah. I feel like the music when I put out are my baby again. I enjoy yeah. it. I feel like work no more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because sometimes after a while, you know, when you do music for a long period of time, you know, like after a while, you start to think about when you're in the studio, you're thinking about which market this is going to reach. And uh, this is not the right, the right sound for that demographic. Yeah. You are going at too much details. So you lose the raw creativity and the raw soul of the music. But no, you yeah. know, me, me have back a vibe. A vibe, exactly. <laughs> I want to tell you, I want a vibe about the end. Yeah. Me I read and think, and I say, wait, Craig T. Mm. I'm not going to find out, say. You make a big step in your life when you're <laughs> real. I love that. So I'm going to talk about that still. <laughs> yeah, you don't know, you know what's going on when you're coming back. I don't know. No, 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 no what problem. I mean. Then you don't already come forward yeah. in a, internationally. You come right. from the Jamaica TV and everything. Right, and right, you propose right. to so your impress and thing. Natural. You know what I mean? Natural. Talk natural. to me a little bit about that, man. Ah, hold on. I'm going to take off a glass of milk. Yes, girl, man. The girl looks really. in my eye and knows a real thing. A real like, thing. And a joke thing, you know. No, no, no. Not yeah. a joke thing. Well, really and truly, I decided to make it a public step because I felt that. Yeah. Well, very simply put, I felt that she was worth it, and I feel like I feel like more often um, men need to queen up their woman. You understand? So See. basically, adapt me the other do. You understand? She's See. been a pillar of support in my life for a while. Definitely. And you know, may I make sure you know, and may I make sure you know, so I'm willing to make people know, so she's my baby. My main focus is to is to grow the fan base as much as possible before the album release. Yeah. So I really that me the fun now. That's why you see me on the everywhere, like yeah. everywhere, every single radio station, man, stop in you know, every TV station, man, stop off, you know, in every state. Yeah. Like I just, I just that. So the mission there, then. Yeah, man. Yeah, I touch every, I try to touch every state yeah, while they're in the US. Me a new artist again now, you know. Yeah. You understand them know me would tell okay, but okay, like yeah. as a solo artist, me a new artist yeah, now. Yeah, bring that to them, you so know. So me have to, me have to out there. Kind of time people see me now and they must say, yeah, man, you have to do that. And I must say, but I crave it to you, and I must say, but where you want to go? I tell them all the time, yeah. it only take one match. Yeah. Yeah. Start a Paris fire, you understand? Never yeah. sad, never sad. Yeah. 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 Number one, one shot alone kill man. Everybody cut through the situation. Left one man stand up with a murder weapon front of one eyewitness. Him never bet pan nine one. One that alert Babylon. One more covert operation in a one month Babylon drop like a bomb. One more black incarceration. One extra key can build a drug dan. One extra vote can win election. One loose cannon start World War One, but one loose girl cause yet for kill man. Mm. One man we kill another man for your grand. Why would I do that if I one million? One yeah. good sniff with cause addiction. But one good spliff release the tension and just one. <laughs> right as alive life to the thing. Thanks for watching Come Chat with me. See you next week. Stay connected with Come Chat with me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram.